Hi everybody, I'm Janae Swander here with Activating Interconnection and today I just wanted to talk for a few moments about a very commonly misunderstood component of cognitive behavioral therapy. And I've come across this many, many times with people. So I'm going to keep this probably pretty short because we're about to have some thunder and lightning going on, so I'm not sure how long um, this connection is going to stay with us. Um, but this common misperception that um, I was just thinking about is the belief with co in cognitive behavioral therapy that if I just take a negative thought that I'm having, or what I call a negative thought, an unpleasant thought, one that doesn't feel good in my brain, in my body, and doesn't make, you know, doesn't bring up emotions that feel good for me, then if I just take that thought, like, and I switch it, you know, I just flip it over, and I turn it into this positive thought, then I'm going to feel better. And maybe the anxiety I'm having is going to disappear, and the depression that I'm having is going to disappear, and all of these other struggles I'm having are going to disappear, and the world will look all rosy and beautiful and wonderful and great, right? Because I flipped a, a little thought from one side over here, and I went 180 degrees in the other direction. And that doesn't help. I'm saying this statement that that doesn't help from having worked with multiple trauma survivors, serious, serious trauma issues, um, especially with working with veterans and combat and sexual trauma, it does not work to just flip your thought over, okay? And it does, one of the reasons why it doesn't work to do that is because it is super invalidating. You know, you've had the experience you've had and you're experiencing the thought that you're experiencing and that thought developed from some source. So to just say, I'm going to just flip it over and then say that it doesn't, it, that's not something I'm still experiencing and I'm just going to claim that a positive one here can sound good on the surface. However, now you're not hearing what's really going on within you. So not only was there potentially invalidation from other people in your life that could have produced some of those unpleasant and negative thoughts to begin with, but now you're not acknowledging what you're really experiencing. So that's invalidating oneself. And let me just share with you something um, that I do feel is much more helpful and works. And I want you to think for a second, because when we get stuck into these, I don't know if you can hear the rain <laughs> out there now, but it's, uh, um, I need to, I'll wrap this up here soon. Um, but when you get stuck in these particular negative thought patterns, it's like living in a tunnel space. So you end up having this tunnel vision and all that's visible is what is within this space of the tunnel. It's as if nothing else exists other than what you happen to be experiencing within this tunnel. So what I have personally found, one thing that, has, that I'm going to share that I have found is helpful to um, clients I've worked with before is to just realize we're not going to all of a sudden blow up this tunnel and say this tunnel doesn't exist and I haven't been living in it for X number of years. But what we do want to do is start expanding our vision outwards. So here, if we have our tunnel, we start just expanding a little bit just so that now I can turn my head. So I had this one thought here. Maybe my thought was I'm unlovable, and that's just the way that it is, and there are, there's no, never going to be a change to that. If that's my thought, and I allow this tunnel to, walls to start to expand out. Now I can see a little bit more over here and a little bit more over here, and I can see that, oh, well, wait a minute. Maybe I'm not 100% unlovable. Maybe in this one situation over here, I felt that I was unlovable. Because you know, when I expand this, these walls of this tunnel out, I start to notice that, um, oh, you know, here's a friend that I had years ago who found me lovable. Or perhaps there's somebody in your life today who, who you have connected with and have that, that good relationship with, and they love you. 
All you need is one bit of evidence against that original negative thought to begin expanding those walls even a little bit more and a little bit more because it can't be 100% true any longer if there's one case against it. If one person one time found you lovable, it's no longer possible to be completely unlovable, right? So when you're starting off, so if you're in cognitive behavioral therapy work right now or that's something that you're interested in doing in the future, when you're starting off, please be kind to yourself. Please don't try to just take something that you've been living with for a long time and just flip it over to something positive and say, okay, this is it. This is now my positive view and everything's wonderful because it probably still doesn't feel all that wonderful inside. Just give yourself that moment and time to realize that these thoughts have created a tunnel that you've been living in. One way of seeing the world. And just allow, little by little, you know, and if you're working with a therapist, just allow your therapist to help you guide, help guide you little by little to open up these walls of the tunnel so that you can now turn your head more and you can see more clearly other possibilities that exist. Perhaps, maybe there really have been other people who have found you lovable. Perhaps you even found yourself lovable one time. And you can add up those, those data points. And, and then those data points start to help you to create new ways of looking at the world, new thought patterns. So now the thought may have shifted from, I'm unlovable to, well, you know, there's some times when I probably wasn't all that lovable because, you know, I, I wasn't too kind with this or whatever. You know what? There are a lot of times I really was lovable. And I didn't realize that before until I just allowed those walls to just expand little by little. And let me see more of what's actually around me. Let me expand my perspective. Let me see more of the possibilities. Okay. I'm sure I will be back to share more things uh, related to our thought processes and kind of behavioral therapy. I'm going to end this here. We have some pouring down rain going on. And... Um, I want to make sure I don't lose connection. So I will be looking forward to talking with you all again soon. In the meantime, you know, may you take care of yourself. Allow yourself the opportunity to just see moments when you have in your life when you can expand your vision a little bit further out from where it might be right now. And you can begin challenging those thoughts. Because again, just one, one bit of evidence against that thought means that the thought's not 100% true. And as you begin challenging those thoughts, Hopefully you'll also be able to start to create new thoughts that fit into your world right now. So with that being said, take care of yourself, and I will be seeing you all again soon. Bye-bye.